present. Let's go into the future. And I see that the landscape of dentistry is changing quite dramatically now with technology, especially. And um, technology brings down the price also for, for uh, you know, dentistry for, for the patient that benefits as well. And it can increase the profitability for dentists as well. But I see that there's a big change, a really big change happening and very dramatic as well in orthodontics. Where do you feel orthodontics is going to go in, say, the next 10 years? Are you talking about globally or in Australia? No, let's look at it in globally and Australia. I mean, whatever happens globally is going to probably happen in Australia as well. We kind of lag a little bit behind, but we do follow suit. Let's look yeah. at, say, for example, Smile, Smile Club. Yep. This is a big thing that I've seen in the, in the US for quite a while. Was sort oh, of it's huge, they, huge, no, in Australia, huge in Australia. Yeah, it's here in Australia. It's quite interesting what they're doing and how the follow-ups there and, and you know, I know a couple of dentists who, who are using it on their own kids and I've seen the whole program and how they follow up. They actually do make calls from the US and, and you know, follow through with the patient. And tell us a little bit where you see the future with things like this, like, you know, Small Club Invisalign or Clear Aligners, you know, in-house softwares now that are coming in for suck downs and you can start producing your own aligners in-house. Where is the, where is the, the face, where's, where's orthodontics going? How's it going to be cracked open? What's going to every, every year I go to two big meetings and I haven't missed them for the last 20 years. Yeah. Um, the AAO, uh, American Orthodontic Society meeting, huge, biggest orthodontic meeting in the world. And then the European Orthodontic Society meeting. And then so, so what do I see year by year by year? Every company is producing their own aligner, all the big companies, right? Mm -hmm. What else do I see? Every trade booth is becoming more computer savvy. So the cost of resin printers has gone down like you wouldn't believe. The softwares that were initially only available to people like Invisalign and Clear Correct, uh, now they're commercially available, you know? Um, and, uh, uh, it, 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 it just depends on how much you want to go into it. But to me, here's the future, right? 10 years from now, a patient will come in, they'll sit in a chair, they'll get a 3D um, facial view and a 3D x-ray. That will go directly to create their e-model. It'll go to a lab that will reset the teeth and literally, literally a few days later, aligners will come back. If all your interest is in straightening teeth, okay? Um, uh, but... Aligners will not fix kids' airways. Aligners will not stop a kid sucking their thumb. Aligners won't stop the genetic growth of the class three. So there's still a need for uh, the other type of orthodontics. But I'm a businessman. Um, I look at the profit of Align Technology last year. Align Technology's profit was double the other three big orthodontic companies combined. What, is, what does that tell you? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So the, the aligners are here to stay. Uh, I have good friends of mine who uh, I train with as orthodontists. Um, they've moved from 10% aligners to now 90% aligners in their practice. Two of them, uh, in fact, they're coming out to lecture in Australia, um, uh, Diego uh, Pedra um, and Ivan Malagong. Their practice is 100% a clear aligner. Um, and, um, and they tackle all cases with it, but they have the experience to do that. And why do they say they want to go clear on? This is my mates talk to me. They said, Derek, you don't have the headaches of wires poking. You don't have brackets coming off, you know? Um, and if things are not working, it's because the patient's not wearing the aligner. Whereas when you're an orthodontist and you're doing traditional orthodontics, there's a lot more pressure. There's a lot more external visits. So I can see where aligners are going to take over the straightening teeth market. But there's, remember, there's three types of orthodontics. And type one is what's called uh, myofunctional therapy, uh, oral myology. Uh, Chris Farrell's done really well in Australia with his myo brace, for instance, yeah. right? So that's all getting the young kids who have poor posture, um, can't breathe through their nose, have a tongue thrust, have an overactive mentalis, all good for that. Then you have the second part of orthodontics, which I'm strong in, which is called dentofacial orthopedics. Widening the jaws that are narrow. Um, correcting the class too early, bringing the maxilla forward with a face mask. You've got to do that in a growing kid and no computer company will do that for you. And then the last field is orthodontics, which is straightening teeth when all the adult teeth are up. That is going to be a line of territory. Even for me, I would be the last person, if you asked me 10 years ago, you know, what, where do you think you'd be doing, would you be doing aligners on all your cases? I'd say, are you kidding me? Blah, blah, blah. 
Right now, I'm 50-50. So all my patients who've had orthopedics, who have crooked teeth or, or need what's called phase two, 50% are aligners. And I would say, you said 10 year plan, I would say 10 years, it'd be 90% aligners. So th with that said then, Derek, where do you feel that traditional braces is gonna sit? Where is it gonna sit in this industry? Um, it's gonna be a bit like um, your, what is it? 4.5 inch floppy disk that you used to put in your 486 computer. Right. Um, that's that's pretty much it. You know, uh, so, so there is no real place for it in the future, do you think? Or can aligners do everything right now? Aligners can't do everything, but geez, they can do a lot. And if you I'm big on what's called pre aligner therapy. So in other words, the tough cases, what do I do? I tell the patient, listen, we're going to put a couple of clear brackets on with this thin wire that you don't see. And then once we've done the big movements, I'm gonna to swap to aligners, right? Now, if you have that approach, yes, aligners can actually do all of your cases when it comes to that. What are aligners not good at? Everyone will agree with this. Extrusion and intrusion of teeth, right? Severe rotations. Mm -hmm. So if you can sort that out um, with a bit of pre-aligner therapy, then yes, you can finish the case with aligners. And it's a win-win. I mean, you know how many times uh, I've had a teenage boy who doesn't brush their teeth with the fixed braces? You know, it's so great having aligners in that regard. Um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, look, uh, future is a, a, a line of therapy. You know, one of the, the, the you know, one of the, the big dentists in, sorry, the big orthodontist um, in Sydney, uh, who's almost exclusive a line is uh, Theo Basie. He does beautiful work. Uh, he, he teaches and, uh, you know, he, I've had this discussion with him and he wouldn't have dreamt that he'd be doing that many aligners now, but things have changed. And have you, have you ever spoken to Mark Van Elding with the whole artificial intelligence and the ability to remotely check if the aligners are working? Have you, have you gone down that path? Yep. It's, um, yeah, it's a French company run by orthodontists. Uh, it's called Dental Monitoring. Man, that's just amazing. You know, imagine not even having to get your patients in unless you need to, because you, you monitor them through, the, uh, through a remote channel. I think in, with some orthodontists, it makes their hair curl um, yeah. with this idea that you, they're not so hands-on with patients and, yeah. and, and aligners also coming in in full force. And I, as I said, the landscape's changing. Now, with that said, where do you think where orthodontists are going to be placed and dentists are going to be placed in the market space as well? So where do you think that's going to change? How, how is the future for those two specialty areas? Well, ask Invisalign. They have more case starts with general dentists than orthodontists. No doubt about that. And when someone thinks aligners, they just, they just um, Google Invisalign. Uh, they Google, uh, you know, straight teeth, no braces, blah, blah, blah. So at the end of the day, I don't think the public will make a conscious decision. Do I need to see an orthodontist for aligners? Do I need to see a general dentist? Or do I go to the local chemist where they can scan me and away we go. You know how many uh, direct scanning booths there are popping up in shopping centers? So, mm -hmm. you know, orthodontists have been moaning for years, why are general dentists doing this? Okay? Now, general dentists are moaning, why are the public going direct? It's a bit like whitening. You know, whitening was a big craze. Yeah. And now most of the whitening is done over the counter, yeah. you know, white strips, et cetera. Sa same thing's going to happen with, uh, with clear aligners. It's unfortunate, but, you know, what, 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 what do you do? It's a changing landscape. Um, It'll all reposition in time, and I guess everyone will find their way. Uh, there are certainly things at the moment that orthodontists can do. There are certain things that dentists can do. There are certain things that wires can do and aligners. So everyone has their position in the market space. But as technology improves, um, obviously the landscape keeps changing, uh, and the patient is the one that wins at the end of the day. Yeah. So with that, Derek, it was really nice talking to you tonight. I really enjoyed this experience. I hope you have too. Um, what's the final message you want to give to your audience out there? Um, think airway first, teeth last. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much okay. for tonight. Thanks, Donald. Nice to catch up. See you. Nice to catch up. Bye. Bye.